What's up, Springfield Nation? Steve Leslie, YSNlive.com. Coach's Corner, assistant coach Mark Brungard, thanks for joining us. Sponsored by WRS Wealth Advisors. Coach, I can't thank them enough for all they've done for us at YSN to help us get games up all season long and, and help us be a part of Springfield football. Thanks for joining us. It's great, great to be here, Steve. On your end of it, you, you've been – such a huge part of, of this as, as a coach. You've played here at Springfield. I, I guess that's where I want to start for you. As a player here with a great career, with guys that you've played with here at high school that you're still great friends with, and you watch your sons go through this process of being at, at Springfield and having good friends, how special is that for you? Yeah, it's, it's, it's a tough thing to be in the moment and present on the task at hand, but be trying to put all this into context of my past, my roots here, growing up here, living on a family farm, having a business in the community, going to school here, walking these same halls, <laughs> playing on that same field. Um, you know, it's special. My dad was on the first basketball team that sure. went to Columbus in 1962. And uh, my brother and I, you know, are proud graduates. And now this generation's going sure. through. And um, yeah, it's just it's hard for me to put it on the context right now because we're still trying to trying win to win state championship. Absolutely, yeah. that's the main goal right now. <laughs> Let's talk your parents for a little bit. Right. I, I know, um, I've been over to the Tigers' table. It's one of my favorite places to eat. <laughs> so I'll shout out to them. Your parents are there. Mm -hmm. They're part of YSN. They yeah. watch. Um, yeah. How special is that for you, for them to still be a part of your coaching and watching your sons play at, at Springfield? Right. It's one of the things I'm thankful for. You know, my parents have had good health, and uh, they've enjoyed this as much as anybody. Um, my dad most recently had a shoulder surgery and a gallbladder had to be removed, and he spent the last five weeks in the car trying to find a spot to watch the game from because he's not supposed to be around, around other people. And he's just, he's that passionate about it. You know, they're, they're so excited for, uh, for this week and, and um, you know, for all the boys because, uh, you know, we've, we've seen this class, these, these groups of kids grow up from a very young age. I've coached them in youth baseball and sports, and mom and dad uh, watched, of course, all these kids grow up together. And so they're as excited as anybody, sure. you know, for, for this, uh, this playoff game and, and for what's going on here. Yeah. So shout out to your parents mm -hmm. for sure. Shout out to your wife too. I, I know Thank how you. important – uh, of a role she plays at home. We'll probably get ready for a big meal tomorrow. Mm -hmm. The boys are home. Talk about your wife a little bit before we dive into well, some football. I mean, you know, my calling to coach was our calling because if your wife's not supporting it, you know, you're, you're going to end in divorce sure. or you're not going to be a good coach. So when uh, when I decided to coach and, and she said, yeah, you need to do that, and especially coming back here, leaving Poland, she was extra excited because she knew it would involve our boys, boys and be able to coach them too. So, yeah, she's definitely a part of uh, of the whole thing and, and a vital part. You know, shout out to her. Happy Thanksgiving to her also with Coach Mark Brungard, play, uh, Coach's Profile, sponsored by WRS. When I asked you, we, we talked off air, Springfield football, it's not all about football here. This is a tight-knit community that's very close. That I, I talked with your son and Bo Snyder about Peyton. Uh, there's a lot of things and a lot of prayers going mm -hmm. around. How special is this community to you to be a part of? Yeah, I mean, um, <laughs> it's it's hard to put into words. You know, just it's it's family. It's together. And uh, like I said, these kids growing up, uh, all coming from the same zip code. And to see our send-offs happen, and the and the people coming out from their homes and and getting excited, uh, it's just it's just something that uh, because we've done it three years sure. now, you can uh, maybe have a tendency to take it for granted. And um, this is special, and so I don't I don't want to allow myself to think, uh, you know, well another send-off, send another game. Sure. I mean, just to just to be in this moment and say this is really cool what this community is is doing together uh, is pretty awesome. That's one of the things, Mark. That has impressed me the most. Mm -hmm. um, nothing is given. Yeah. It's earned. And, and I think you guys have done a great job of going week by week. It, it has to be hard for, for young kids. And you played at a high level, won national championships. We'll talk, but it has to be hard for a group to hear uh, in, in week one of a, their yeah. senior football season that you're going to try to win a state championship. Mm -hmm. Take me through that. Just Sean and you guys as a coaching staff and these players have done – in talking every week, a phenomenal job of week 
to week yeah. to week of preparing where you're at today. Right, and we needed to go through the process, especially this year where, uh, you know, from, from last season's loss, you know, you want to just let's fast forward to the, to the end of the season and let's make that pain go away. Sure. But we weren't ready to win a state championship in week one. You know, uh, South Range was a great team and they took it to us and, and uh, we had a lot to learn and a lot of growth had to happen. So we had to take it week by week and uh, know that if it's meant to be that we'll be in this point, but we, we won't be ready for it unless we get better sure. each week. And, and so, you know, I credit um, our coaching staff has just stayed on task and stayed week to week and stayed in the moment. And um, you blink your eyes and here we are week 15, 15. you know, yeah, so it's hard to believe. And uh, credit to our kids that they have gotten better. Um, and, and we're a different team than we were in August for sure. There's no question about that to me. And watching you guys for, for 14 weeks now, this mm-hmm. team is, has grown up an awful lot. Uh, I had the opportunity to talk with your son and all these seniors. Um, I cannot say enough good things about this senior group. And again, football, they're talented, there's no doubt. But I see them in so many different ways and so, doing so many different things to, uh, for this community. You were that guy that younger guys looked up to when you played mm-hmm. here, and now your sons do it. That has to be special for you as the coach to kick back and see some of the younger Springfield Tigers that watch your sons play and, and want to be right. that next player mm-hmm. that helps Springfield continue on what you have. Yeah, you know, you see football as, as something that can be a vehicle to propel you uh, to be more successful and to grow up and mature in life. It did that for me. It gave me plenty of opportunities to work with people, to find out about myself, and and um, and it's to see it happen in other kids and, and to know what it's doing in them and for them going forward. It is way bigger than the games, you know, it, this process of training and working together and, and losing your ego and just playing a role and doing your job and showing up every day. They're life lessons. Sure. And, and, you know, we that have played sports and our adults know that. And so it's great to see another generation that's getting formed to be leaders through sports like this. And, and our kids are embracing that, and it's cool. Yeah, they're embracing it big time. They got a big game Saturday night against Cary at state semifinal. Bo commits to YSU. Mm-hmm. Um, I've been so looking forward to do this one with you because I have the utmost respect for you as a as a father, as a coach, uh, as as somebody that I was around all those days mm-hmm. at Youngstown State and those fun times and, and things are are tough right now. Let's be honest. I do the games on the radio. It's tough times, but I but I think Coach Phillips will get it there. Bo commits to YSU. How special is that for you? Yeah, I'd, I would be lying if I said it wasn't special. Um, from a selfish standpoint, he's close that you know we'll be able to uh, follow along closely and and be at every game that we can be at. But um, you know, YSU is a, is a different place than it was when sure. I was there. Sure. In, in in every way, and Coach Trussell's done a great job of growing the campus, growing the college uh, athletically. They're in a different league. <laughs> we weren't in a league first off when I was there. We were an independent. We were beating Akron and Ken, and yes. and you know making the playoffs every year. But um, Man, this this conference they're in is a grind, and uh, and I think they hired the man that's gonna that's gonna get him back to that place. Uh, obviously, he had a rough start with sure. the COVID season, sure, which right. wasn't even a season. season. Right. I think you let him and his staff just just to get out and recruit and to continue to build this program. Um, they're, we're going to be happy with the result, but it's a different place. He's he's going to have to be way better than I was to compete at that level because uh, when I see the speed and the size and the well, come on now, of those come on kids, now. I was around for the Mark Brungard days I, I when know, we were winning I, national championships. <laughs> we got it. Let's let's be honest. Now you were that guy that um, I I think that's one of the things that impresses me the most about Bo is you knew how to lead football teams. Mm-hmm. Um, the thing that uh, impressed me about Bo is. I, I love the answer he gave me that there's a difference between my dad's a really good coach and how my dad is at home. Mm-hmm. People mm-hmm. don't understand. Mm-hmm. It's hard to coach your own kid. Right. Talk about that. Well, you know, just like an example, you know, watching him make a play that God has given him clearly the talent to to make those so plays. So you're telling me he's so, better than you are, he's faster ab- than you are? Absolutely. <laughs> I would never deny that. And Coach would jump right in here and tackle me. I'll have try. to ask him All about right. that one. So, so you know, I'm up there looking at my call sheet, and I'm, I'm thinking of, okay, what formation, what pass, run, what do we need to do? And, and it really I make it too complicated. And then I just call a play, and Bo just runs around everybody or through a couple players, and he scores. And, and I'm, I'm thinking of the next play, and I'm on to the – I'm coaching. I'm like, I, I should have enjoyed that moment as a day. Dad, do you get to enjoy awesome that? Play. I not do, really. but I'm, I'm also. Is it a different enjoyment on... when the game's over? I guess when you yeah. can go back and 
see it yeah, again? Yeah, do you, my wife do you enjoy I, that more? My wife and I always watch the film after the game, and she wants me to talk about every player. What would you call here now? Why did you call all this? And <laughs> she knows. So, she's been around it long enough. So, yeah, so we enjoy it again at more for me as a parent. I get to watch it again that lens sure. instead of as a coach and thinking about the next play. I just get to watch right. it, and that's, that's been fun. Well, congratulations from Thanks. all of us to, you, to your family and, and going to YSU. This senior group, state semifinal, experience has to be a huge key for you guys. To talk about the experience of this group for, for three years. I, I talk to Sean every week, and you're talking about 15 extra yeah, weeks yeah. of being able to do things. Does experience – you played it – a high level in a national championship game. And I, and I have no disrespect for Kerry. Right. They're, they're a great football team. But does experience have some key play in this Abs football game? Absolutely. It has to. You know, if you don't have a context of what this feels like and how to react to it, you, you know, you're in uncharted sure. waters. And so for our kids, we've, we've felt this pressure. We, we know the stage that it's going to be. And uh, it is different. And so that's just an advantage that we sure. have. And, and I think the development of these kids having all those extra practices, right. all those extra games uh, has played a part in our physical development getting better. Our younger players are getting so many more reps. Sure. You know, some freshmen in places have been for five, five weeks, weeks and our kids have been practicing Practice for five weeks. So I think it's a great advantage we have. Well, Springfield Nation, they need you Saturday night. Get on out, fill those stands up uh, against the good football team. In your mind, the biggest key for, for this football team to get a win and, and get a chance to, to play in another state championship? Well, you know, playoff football and November football, you, you have to win the line of scrimmage and, and run the football. And, um, you know, we, we, of course, want to pass when we want to, not when we have to. Um, we we got to establish the line of scrimmage and, and run. Now, where we run the ball and how we get about doing that, you know, that's, that's unique to what – what our game plan is this week and what Kerry poses as as uh, strengths of their defense but we got to stop them from running the ball and we got to establish a run it's it's not that sexy it's but it's the truth it's, and and if we don't turn it over and play to our potential I think we'll be playing next week well I'm gonna say this I, I think we're gonna be playing next week for a state <laughs> championship that's pretty easy for me to say wood knock on wood you can on. knock on my head because it's all wood <laughs> you have so many things to be thankful for mm -hmm. uh, um mm -hmm. It's Wednesday night. Tomorrow you'll get to go out and practice with a group you love. You'll be with your family mm -hmm. that you love. What's Coach Brungard thankful for? Oh, I, we don't have enough time. But, you know, I've, I've been blessed to have the opportunity to, uh, to coach here as an educator uh, down the street, but then to come here and to see kids and, and to coach them with, with staff. Um, I'm thankful to be coaching football on Thanksgiving sure, this no year. Doubt. You know, that's something I never experienced in Poland and, and being here and being able to do it's been really neat. And my family will be in tomorrow and we'll be able to, you know, have that time together. And then looking forward to uh, a Friday, game in two days, Friday, two you know, days, I just yeah. think, how blessed am I? How many people would want to be in the position I'm in so I'm not going to uh, overlook that I'm going to really well we're, we're very blessed that. look Thank forward you. to to watch and practice tomorrow yeah. for sure and and Peyton your son talked about you you know mm -hmm. their family um you know we've seen the pictures and, and that's the toughest young lady mm -hmm. I've ever seen that that represents Springfield football I get that anything that you you have to say for that family on a tough Thanksgiving. Yeah, absolutely. You know, it, 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 it just challenges your faith a little bit. You know, it makes you think when, when you see good people, you know, suffer, it's hard. But uh, it reminds me this, this place isn't heaven and there's a purpose behind it and we just got to keep the faith and we continue to play for her and pray for her and their, and Joe and, and, uh, and their whole family. But, um, you know, it's, it's hard when you watch people that you love, you know, no go doubt. through a hard time. But we, we're, get it. we're doing all that we do for them in honor of them. Well, so. we appreciate you. Happy Thanksgiving, Tiger Nation. All Coach, right. thanks, thanks for joining. Wish you and Absolutely. your family the best, and go get that win, and let's mm -hmm. win a state championship. Yeah.